Hey guys, it's Hans Hobbies, and today I have a pretty special car in front of us. This is my Red Cat Racing Landslide, believe it or not. Um, and it clearly looks very, very different from the stock Landslide. Um, for, you, for, you do, for you guys that don't know, the Red Cat Landslide is a 1.8 scale, four-wheel drive brushless monster truck you can get for 300 bucks. Um, ready to run which is an amazing price especially for an eight scale monster truck and there's a lot of amazing features with it i did a full review on it and have done a bunch of other videos on the landslide so if you guys want to check that out um i'll put the playlist for that at the end of this video um so you can check that out but clearly here i've done basically a buggy conversion on it because the landslide xte is actually based on a buggy called the bsd racing blazer xb um and I've essentially switched out um, all the monster truck parts for the buggy parts to do this buggy conversion, as well as some other tuning changes um, and modifications to get it to look like this. So um, there were a couple stuff I wanted to change. And a big a main reason why I decided to do the buggy conversion with it was one, because um, with the huge monster truck tires on it, it was kind of sensitive in the air and a little bit hard to control in the air. Um, and I wasn't a huge fan of that. So I wanted it to be a little bit easier to control. Um, and I really wanted something that I could drive around the track while also driving around and bashing it and stuff um, while looking like it's supposed to be there, basically. Um, a lot of my other friends have this similar sized uh, vehicles that we run together at the track. They have like low C um, tenacity buggies um, and other like 110 scale short course trucks. This truck right now is the size of a 110 scale short course truck. And I'll talk about that a little bit um, in a second, but it, it's kind of fitting in for kind of what I want to do with it. So that was a main reason why I decided to do buggy conversion. Uh, second reason was the monster truck version to do the monster truck conversion. The axles are really long axles, while the arms are the, still the same buggy arms. So it ends up, ends up having like a really long adapter at the end, which I didn't think looks, looked very good. And it's also in the long term, not very good for durability, um, even though I personally didn't have any problems with it. So that's another reason why I decided to do the buggy conversion. Um, and even after doing the buggy conversion, I had a couple other issues with it, and I decided to address some of those changes and I'll talk through that in a second. But I mentioned that this thing is the size of a 110 scale short course truck or a 18 scale buggy, obviously. Um, so this body you can see here is actually meant for a short course truck. This is by Summit Link, which is basically like a knockoff of the Proline Baja bug body meant for the Slash and other 10 scale short course trucks. I wanted this kind of buggy look with it, but you can't actually get the BSD racing body for this. And Red Cat sells all the other parts for it, but doesn't sell the body separately. So um, I decided to take it to the literal sense of buggy and make it into a Volkswagen bug. And I wanted to make sure this body fit before I invested in the actual Proline version, because the actual Proline version is like 50 bucks, whereas this one was like 25 bucks. So it was also, also already fully painted. And at the time I did this uh, conversion, it was fully frozen outside, so I couldn't paint anyway. So that's why I decided to go with this. Um, I'm not a big fan of the paint scheme and also this cheaper body is made out of PVC. So I did have to line the inside of it with duct tape so it wouldn't shatter. Um, but so far the way I have it set up, it has set up pretty well. And because I don't really care about the looks of it, I don't care about it getting scratched up and beat up, which it's been pretty, pretty beat up so far. Um, the only modification I had to make to make this body fit is I had to trim the fenders a little bit um, on the body, also cut off some of the rear of the body where the engine detail part uh, would usually be uh, to make room for the for the rear wing. And also I had to modify the rear body mounts. Um, I had to elongate the holes on the body mount um, with a drill because the body clips with this body has to actually sit at an angle, as you can see here. So I had to elongate that out so that body would body clip would fit. But other than that, stock body mount position, stock body uh, body mounts. No other really major modification had to be made to get this body to fit, which is nice. Um, back here, the other main thing that, that an obvious thing you can see is the rear wing. Um, this rear wing is the same rear wing that's used on the Red Cat Shredder, which is a one fifth scale like monster truck truggy kind of thing. 
Um, so pretty easy wing to come by and really cheap as well. Um, it's only like 10 bucks each and Amazon has a bunch of them on, on stock. So you can get them two day prime shipping at the time of this video anyway. Um, so they're pretty easy to come by, I'm pretty happy with that. And it's attached to this uh, wing mount and the brace down here that's meant for the landslide. Um, I did a full separate video on the part numbers for this and the installation of the wing. So if you guys want to check that out, check out that playlist. It's it's in there. And I have all the part numbers in that video, but uh, all the parts for this that I used, the, used to do the conversion, I will also link in the description. And any Red Cat links you, you see down there are affiliate links. So if you use those links, it will definitely help out my channel a lot. And I would, I would uh, greatly appreciate that. But, yep. Yeah. Nice little rear wing in there. Has been pretty durable. Um, I did end up breaking one. I'll go over breakages more later, but I ended, ended up breaking one, um, but that was in the cold at the skate park. But otherwise, these are pretty durable wings, so pretty happy with that. The other thing you see are the wheels and tires. These are um, off of Red Cat's website as well. Um, these, are, these were in the clearance section. So I got all four tires for like 16 bucks, which is really cheap. And um, I'll probably order more of these because I'm actually a huge fan of these tires. They're kind of an RTR compound. You can get these tires in a softer compound. Um, but I actually like these RTR compounds because it lasts a, long, a lot longer. And um, it's a little bit more fun to drive for me because it allows you to like kind of slide around and drift around on pavement and at the skate park and stuff. And also they squeal like and like skid like real like real car tires. So that's also pretty cool as well. Um, I also really like the white, uh, the white flat like race buggy uh, wheel look as well. So that's pretty cool. And not having spokes also helps when I'm driving in the snow. So snow doesn't get packed up inside the wheels as easily. Um, up front, the only thing I changed was take uh, cut off the bull bar here and I actually broke it off at the skate park. But that was fine because I was planning on cutting it off anyway. Usually it would have like a little bull bar here, but... It looks a lot better without it. Um, and the actual buggy will actually only use the skid plate as a front bumper, but having the truck front bumper matches a lot better with the bug body as well as make the durability, uh, uh, improve the durability compared to just having this skid plate piece. So that's why I kept it on there. It's not the prettiest look, but um, it, it's, it looks good enough for what it is and um, durable enough as well. And since it's not like a custom piece or anything like that, if I ever break it, it is really easy to find replacement parts for it. Um, taking the body off. Some changes you, you will see is, um, like I mentioned, the, the axles had to be changed. And I did a separate video on the installation of these buggy axles as well. Um, so you can check that video out as well. But that essentially pulls in the wheels a little bit closer, so it's, it gets it to a regular 8 scale buggy stance, um, which I like the look of a lot better compared to stock. And they're the same like CV style axle, they're just shorter, so that's, that's really nice. Um, the electronics on it are all still the stock electronics other than the servo. Um, stock ESC, stock motor. The stock motor has been plenty good for me, so I probably won't be upgrading the ESC or... or, or uh, or, or motor, I, mean, I want to say motor. Um, I upgraded the servo with the Hexfly K, uh, 25 kg servo. The stock one is a Hexfly 15 kg servo. There was nothing wrong with the 15 kg. It's, it's a metal gear, it's plenty fast, plenty strong. Um, but I decided to put this one in just because it's a little bit faster and just because I had them. Um, so uh, that's, that's in there. And as well as the metal servo horn that's also on there. The other thing you'll see is I put the M2C racing chassis brace on it. It's this upper deck as well as multiple other bracing points. Um, this is a really good brace. I got it for like 80 bucks. I also mentioned it in my full review video. And I have a I have like an installation tips video on the brace by itself as well. Again, in that um, playlist. And it's really helped the durability of this truck and the chassis overall. Keep the chassis a little bit straight. Um, it's a little bit bent at the moment and it's slightly damaged at some, some points, but uh, a, a very minor damage. But um, I, that's because I was bashing it pretty hard at the skate park and had a really unfortunate crash with it. Um, but it's very, it's, it's barely noticeable. It's fairly straight. So it's, it's been doing its job pretty well. And um, it also looks, looks great. 
the receiver is the stock receiver on it but I have bound it to my new Flysky FS GT5 transmitter. This is a multi-memory transmitter, six channel uh, transmitters, really nice. Um, this is what I'm gonna be using for all my Red Cat vehicles now. So decided to bind it up to that one. And the shocks have been retuned. The shocks, the, the problem I had with the shocks is the stock shocks, the way they were set up, the springs were way too soft um, and also set up without taking into account the extra weight of this um, heavy brace. So the truck would kind of, the buggy would kind of like bottom out really easily. And in some of my, some of my uh, review and some of my running video, you'll actually hear the chassis scrape as it's going around. Um, and with this new sh uh, shock setup, it no longer does that. So I'm really happy with it. I put 45 weight shock oil in it um, and also put these uh, Raven RC progressive rate blue um, uh, springs on it meant for the E Revo, and I was actually concerned that they might, they, they might be a little bit too stiff. They are a little bit stiff and a little bit springy, um, so it's not completely perfect. But I'm pretty happy with the setup so far, and they also look pretty good. Um, and the blue kind is kind of like a uh, a spoiler for the color scheme I pl I'm planning on doing with it. So I'm pretty happy with it. Progressive rate means um, there's a soft rate and a stiff rate, so I can run it at the skate park or run it at like a little bit more of a rough surface and it'll do decently on both surfaces. So really happy with the shock setup there. Um, the stock shocks are pretty good. You just have to rebuild them and maintain them uh, every once in a while. Uh, before I had like a duct tape wall around it to kind of protect it from dirt and dust and snow and stuff, but that ended up breaking off um, and I decided to keep it off completely and it allows for stuff to get in a little bit easier but also lets stuff fall out a little bit easier so completely got rid of the sidewalls here and I'm pretty happy with that uh, a lot happier with that than having the walls on it um, and then the final thing I did was I tuned and upgraded the center diff I upgraded the center diff uh, spur gear into the metal one there was nothing wrong with the plastic one I just decided to change it to the metal one just for the sound essentially because I wanted this I wanted it to sound a little bit more aggressive so change it to that um and then the diff originally only has grease in it and essentially that, that will make the truck or the, the truck and the buggy kind of front wheel bias the front wheels will spin a lot faster than the rear wheels and that makes it understeer a little bit um, which is really easy to drive for beginners but for more performance driving you want a little bit more uh, equal bias or a little bit more rear bias. So I put a hundred thousand weight shock, a uh, hundred thousand weight diff fluid in it, and that's uh, improved the drivetrain of, of this thing significantly. And it's a lot more fun to drive, in my opinion. Um, but other than that, I think all that's left to talk about is um, show you the driving footage and then talk about any other final thoughts about it. I can hear that aluminum chassis really scraping the pavement. But it is definitely a lot more easy to control than it was when it was a monster truck. And I actually really like the looks of it and the way it performs and everything the way it is. And also with the smaller arms on it, it's going to also uh, be a little bit more durable because there's a lot less mass to it. It is still definitely heavy though.
durability wise, uh, I ended up breaking this arm right here. You can see it's kind of tweaked. Um, it actually just pulled out of that half, the, the adjustment here. It just pulled out when I crashed it at the skate park. Um, and I basically just uh, screwed it back in and just super glued it in. Um, and, and it's been holding just fine, so it's not a huge issue. I also have a brand new arm, but it was broken in a way where I could probably fix it, so I decided to keep using that one before slapping on a new piece. Um, also, like I mentioned, the sidewalls here, like the little mud guard thing, those broke off, so I just removed them completely. Um, the rear wing also broke. Uh, when I crashed it in freezing weather at the skate park, that broke, but this one is pretty beat up also. It's the second one I have. And this one has been holding up, so I don't think that's a huge issue. Um, when I had the stock shocks on it, I was kind of bottoming out. The bottom of the wing mount kind of got scraped, but that's not a huge issue either. And as you saw, the, the uh, whole chassis was a little bit ever so slightly tweaked, but also not a huge problem. So overall, durability has been really good and it's been holding up really well. So overall, I'm really happy with the way this buggy is turning out so far. Um, and this is definitely a keeper. I'm going to be keeping this thing around for a long while. If it gets totaled, I'll just get another one and do the conversion again. It's just that much fun and I just absolutely love this thing. Um, some upcoming changes for it is I might keep playing with some of the shock tuning options. Um, I will be getting that Proline body uh, and painting it up when it does get a little bit more warmer up, up here. Um, so that's coming up. And um, I will be changing out these Dean's connectors for e uh, IC3 connectors because that's what my battery setup is mostly set up for. So I'll be doing that. Um, and then other than that, I really don't have anything else that I really want to change about it. It's pretty good. I, 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 I am going to get some on-road tires for it because I do a lot of street bash, bashing with this thing and um, it might be beneficial to have some street tires just, just in case. Not that these do terrible on it, but you know, just wanted to try them out. But yeah, overall, really happy with this thing and I absolutely love it. So if you guys are interested in doing this conversion or enjoyed this video or anything like that, uh, please give me a like, subscribe, comment down below, all the good YouTube shenanigans, and I'll see you guys next time.